Hi, and welcome to Duncanville Public Library's latest video tutorial. Today, we're going to show you how to check out an ebook from OverDrive. Now, we're starting off at Duncanville's main website, duncanville.com. What we're going to do is use our cursor to hover over where it says Departments at the top. This is going to make a drop down list appear. Go down the list and click on where it says library. Now we're on the library's main website. All we have to do here is look for online resources. Here it is on the left. So let's click there. And now we're on another page. Now if you scroll down this page, you'll notice that we have a lot of online resources. We'll talk about each of them in later videos, but for now, we just want some ebooks, so we're looking for OverDrive. There's two places you can click, on this link or on this button. Either one is fine. So let's click, and now we're on the OverDrive website. Pro tip, if you want, you can just type in this web address and save yourself all that clicking around. The website address is net ldc.overdrive.com. Okay, let's get signed in. Here's the sign in button. So we're going to click that and then make sure that you choose your library from the list. Since you're watching this video, Duncanville Public Library is probably yours. Type in your card number and then your PIN. Your PIN should be the last four digits of your phone number. And let's click sign in. Now it's going to think for a sec. Okay, here we are. We are on the OverDrive website and ready to go. So let's scroll down a little bit so I can show you a few things. First off, each book at the top will say either available or wait list. At the bottom, it tells you what type of resource it is. This one, Sally Ride, is an ebook. Becoming by Michelle Obama is an audiobook. So make sure you're clicking on the one you want. I want to know all about Sally Ride, so I'm going to click here. Okay, now there's two buttons, read a sample or borrow. We want to borrow this book, so we click Borrow. And then you have a choice in this drop-down list, 7 days or 14 days. These choices are going to vary depending on who published the book. But I'm going to choose 14 days. Then just click Borrow. You can read it now with Kindle. If you click this button, it's going to take you to Amazon.com where you'll have to sign in with your Amazon ID in order to get the library book. You can also click this button here and just read it in your browser. It'll open a brand new window and the book will pop open. Or you might have this download EPUB book. That'll download the book to your device. Well, that's pretty much all there is to it, so I'll see you next time. Have fun reading.